Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another post game Montreal Canadian. Oh yeah! Let's do it! Why are you? Because they win! How? 2 1! Hey! Yeah! And this is the straight number 5W! Here we go! The Montreal Canadiens beat the Ottawa Senator 2 1 and also give them another W. Five straight W for the Montreal Canadiens. Martin Saint Louis is 5 3 behind the bench after eight games and Montreal took them 48 games to win 8 W. And now in the last five games, bang to back to back to back to back to back win. And that's what they are. But before we leave, we want to remind you, of course, don't forget to subscribe and click on the likes to tell me what you think about the, per the performance on the Montreal Canadiens. Here we go. Like we do at the beginning of the of this, this uh, show, we always give you the information about what happening during the game. And this is the score sheet of the night. And let's start talking about the first period. The first 10 minutes, guys, it was so fast. Only two whistle. The, the speed was great. The momentum was good for both teams. Not many opportunities because the, play, the team played very solid on the defensive. And not many space or room for the plus K with the puck. But um, we have to give credit for both. Uh, they, they, they play hard. And that's what, as a fan, you want to see that. Um, you have to wait until 16.47, a uh, puck and the right corner, Murray, a good opposite before the, we got the goal, a pit leg, a good opposite, Murray make a save, the puck go in the corner, Shariat ret retrieval the puck, saw Likonen in front of the net and pass him almost like at the back door and Likonen with a stick on the ice like we teach the kid to put your stick always on the ice in front of the net, tip the puck and give the Montreal Canadiens take the lead 1-0, um, at 16.47, Xavier was an assist, was the 8th of the Canon this season. And after 20 minutes, the score is 1-0 for the Montreal Canadiens. No penalties, 9 shots for both teams. Pretty even, honestly. Uh, as a fan for both teams, you, you are really happy to see uh, that game so far. Second period, uh, at the beginning, uh, at the end of the first period, by the way, we have a penalty for Montreal. But carry on the power play for Ottawa at the beginning of the second period. Great player, Connor Brown, uh, uh, go around the net. It was, everybody was thinking he was going all the way wrap up. Petri jump on the wrong side, leave White in front of the net alone. And Colin White pick the pass of the Brown to go over the left side of Ammon and tie the game one to one. It was uh, the goal on power play. First of the season, we know White missed. Three mound. It was his first game back in the lineup. Congratulations for White. Um, Brown and Mete got an assist at 123. Ottawa tied the game. For the rest, a few opposite for both. Uh, we have a power play for Montreal. Nothing happening. Uh, Ottawa got another power play at the end of the game. At the end of the period, nothing happening also in that time. And then Montreal almost a 17 minute until. Uh, Another power play, only one shot. But at 14-21, after really kind of got a pass from Jake Evan about 50 feet from the net. I don't know what happened with Matt Murray. I don't know. I don't. I think he did not calculate very well the trajectory, uh, the trajectory of the puck because he was unbalanced. And Lekanen scored his second goal of the game. Is nine of the season. Uh, Evan got an assist, gave the lead Montreal 2-1. After 40 minutes, uh, the shots during the second period was 13 Montreal, 11 for Ottawa, and 22 Montreal, 20 after 40 minutes. Uh, pretty good game so far. Really tie uh, on both ways. Um, performance good for go both goaltenders during the first 40 minutes. Uh, let's go to the third period. Again, nothing changed. Both teams please sell it on the defensive coverage. Not many opportunities. But both teams during that period have two power, uh, one power play uh, for Montreal, two for the Ottawa Senator. They don't take advantage of those kind of 
the situation to at least tie the game Ottawa or Montreal hammer the, Mont- uh, the Ottawa. Montreal got a penalty about 16 minutes at the end of the game, but they play really defensive. For the last two, uh, what, one minute, 30 seconds, empty net for the Ottawa, tried to tie the game six to five, but again, Montreal played really great on the defensive zone. Amman have a good save at some point, but nothing else happening. And uh, at the end of the game, the final score was 2-1 Montreal Canadian. The shots during the third period was uh, 10 Montreal, 7 for Ottawa. And uh, that way the Montreal get their fifth W straight uh, of the season. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is, of course, the by number. We know how this works. Uh, the shot 32 Montreal, 27 Ottawa. 55-45 face-off advantage Montreal yesterday. Power play Montreal again 0-4. They are 0 and 17 now on power play. They really struggle. Uh, Ottawa took advantage of the only goal on the power play at the beginning of the second period. The hit 30-15, double more hits for the Ottawa Senator. The block shot 13 Montreal, Ottawa 12. Eight minute penalty for both teams at the end of the game. Finally uh, gave away only eight Montreal and 12 for Ottawa. The best for the Ottawa, of course, three different players with one uh, point, Mete, Brown, and uh, White. Uh, Godet uh, shot five times on uh, Hammond. The most uh, TOI of the game was 26-34 by the Bramstrom. And finally, uh, Murray has a 30 save on the 32 shot he faced for the save percentage of 9-3-8. For the Montreal Canadian, of course, the star of the game, Likonen, have two goals, the goal winner uh, game. Um, Gallagher shot five times on the Murray. Sherrod played 24-09. And fin- finally, Ammon have a, a save percentage of 9-6-3. Um, the next one I want to talk about, of course, the three star of the game. Let's start with the third star, the veteran goaltender. Andrew Ammon, the second star, Colin White, and finally, Arturi Likonen, with two goals, gave the W for the Montreal Canadiens. The next one I want to talk about is the Frenchy Corner. You know this the way I like to talk about. The Montreal Canadiens win uh, five straight now, by a score of 2 1 against Ottawa Senator. I believe, I could be wrong, I think it was 16 17, now I'm thinking maybe 17 18 year. Uh, season won the Montreal the last time they went five straight W. Um, Ammon won again. We know he was claimed by the Minnesota Wild and Ammon sent his back when the Montreal uh, played two games got the two W. Another great story. We know he started his career in Ottawa uh, where he got his uh, great ride and uh, great run with them. Uh, so uh, great for him to come back over there get another W to be honest with you. Lickanen, the star of the game, like I mentioned, two goals. Uh, look, uh, one thing you have to say, him, he, you have to be honest with him. He, he, he knows what it takes to stay in NHL. One, your talent is not an amazing, great talent. His work ethic is amazing. Uh, the way he played this season is uh, really great. And that's his value increasing. When you talk about coach, some people thinking about Montreal is maybe thinking to trade Lickanen at, uh, at some point. And... Um, with nine goals now, and uh, the way he played for the last couple, maybe the last month, um, his value market or stock market is increasing around the league. We see if he's going to be a uh, trade uh, before the end of the trade deadline, March 21st. Uh, uh, for me, last night, guys, this is the best game on the defensive for the Montreal Canadiens uh, this season. What I'm talking about, it was amazing the cap control from the forward. From the def- for the defense. The way they play the neutral zone yesterday is what the coach won. They completely pinch everybody at the, at the red line and the neutral zone. When you do that, you completely shut down the speed to opening team and you limited your, the rush of opening team. And that's, when you do that, you most of the time you have better chance to win the game and that's what they did. When he was not a forward, he was a defenseman. They completely shut down the neutral zone from uh, the red line to the, the blue, uh, from the Montreal side. And this, we have to give credit for that, to recognize those defensemen jump at the right time. 
And for me, this was really where I believe uh, it was the best for the Montreal Canadian decision. Team effort. I really believe, again, we talk about this, they play like the team, the chemistry forward and uh, defense is great. Good performance for the goaltender to make the great save at the right time. And their man-to-man -man defensive zone helping them uh, to win those games, I believe, for the last five games. Uh, the fourth star of the game, like we like to do, for me, is Dauphin. Uh, we know what Jake Evans can do. We know Lekanen can do. We know Gallagher can do. We know Pitlick can do. Those four players I just mentioned play a solid game most of the time with their work ethic, with their consistency, show up game after game, shift after shift. Dauphin is mold the same way. Another great performance for the, for the kid. He deserved to get a goal at some point because the kid worked hard for the Montreal Canadiens. He's a really a team a player to be honest with you for me. This is the four star of the game. It's Dauphin. Power play struggle. Guys, we have to be honest with you here. One area where the Montreal don't do well is the power play. Zero and 17 went right now. And, uh, and if you calculate for the last 10 games, I believe they have only two goals and 33 uh, opportunities. So Montreal have to find a way to get better. It's going to be hard at some point. And the special team play is going to be play a big role. And they need to get those kind of the, the goal, to be honest with you. Ottawa missed Shabbat Norris Patterson. We have to be honest with you. Ottawa right now, they missed Shabbat at the beginning of the game. He did not return. They finished the game at five. Um, then Norris and Patterson is not the lineup. And Pinto, another rookies, um, young guns for them, does not play for them right now. And uh, that hurt that team, honestly. You can see Miss, when you have to put uh, only Katschuk um, with TNA, you can see their depth is really limited at some point. And it, it hurt right now, that team. But he's still seeing the game uh, all the time. We have to give credit for Ottawa, but not good enough right now uh, to, make, to get that W yesterday. Ab on the road, West Canadian. They now, this was the first of the five games on the road. Uh, they are leaving now for Mini, uh, Winnipeg Tuesday, Thursday, Calgary. Saturday is um, Edmonton, and then the following Tuesday is uh, Vancouver. So a long trip for the Montreal Canadiens. We're going to see how they're going to do on the road. Uh, much difficult month. What you talk about, coach? They play 15 games start Tuesday and 31 days. So we're going to talk a little bit more tonight at the Sunday night. Let's talk abs with Inner Tap and Sander Ice. Two guests we bring on the table. We talk about the Montreal Canadiens. I invite you to join us tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. Let's talk about the Montreal Canadiens for sure. The next thing I want to talk about before we leave is the next game for the Montreal Canadiens. It's Tuesday, again, like I mentioned, at 8 o'clock p.m., so I, 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 I want to remind you, we're going to do the live stream, play by play. And finally, the last one I want to mention, of course, is tonight. Let's talk abs at 9 o'clock p.m. Join us live Eastern time. Come with join us. Uh, be a guest. Talk about the Montreal Canadian. I can't wait to see you tonight. Uh, guys, this concludes another post-game Montreal Canadian. Uh, show the Montreal win by a score of 2-1 against the Toronto Center. Five straight W. If you're a Montreal Canadian, enjoy the ride. It's not going to be easy in March. And don't worry about, oh my God, we're not going to finish the last. Hey, enjoy the ride. Have fun. That's the most important thing. But before we leave, of course, you know the drill. Subscribe. Click on the like. And tell me what you think about the performance of Montreal Canadian. I look forward to see you next video with the hockey coach, Guru, Coach Frenchy. And you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody.